Hey, it's Dr. Burke here. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a sore throat within two minutes without pills, herbs, drugs. Does that sound good? And I know my, you might be thinking this is too good to believe, but it actually really works, and I want you to prove it on yourself. I wish I knew this back when I had sore throats growing up. I had them almost every four months, especially in the winter. They kept coming. And it's interesting because once you get a sore throat, it keeps happening over and over. It's like a cycle. This technique is all acupressure, and um, I developed it, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. Now, you can do it to yourself, or you can have someone do it, and I'm going to teach you both ways. Here's the principle of um, how it works. If you were to point to the sore throat, just pretend he doesn't have a sore throat, but let's, let's say he did. He's pointing right to his Adam's apple right here, and it's usually going to be in the middle, mid part of the neck. And then what happens, we're going to draw a line in the back part of his neck right here, and we're going to be pressing inward exactly on the opposite side of where the sore throat is. Now, why does that work? Because pain and inflammation is a kind of a stuck energy that's stuck in the front. By pressing the opposite, it frees up the lymphatic system, increases the circulation, increases the nerve flow to free up through there. So not only will the sore throat go away within one to two minutes when doing this, but you'll find that it won't keep coming back, which is very, very cool. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to use your, your middle finger here and your thumb, and we're going to press right on the middle part, and we're going to stabilize the forehead and press inward like this, like a scissoring effect. And you're going to press nice and firmly. Now, the way you know you have the correct points is that it's going to be very, very, very tender on this back part, way more tender than where he hurts in his sore throat. And if I was going to use a tool, a massage tool that I have, um, you could also do it on yourself. You would take these, these, this is a little tripod that has a real thin area, uh, medium, and then a wide, depending on how big the neck is. Maybe you probably want to use the medium and on him, and then we would just come right in there, and we can press in here, and he'll be laying down on a couch and you'll hit these two points right where the sore throat is on the opposite side, okay? If he's a bigger guy, he will work on these wider points right here, or a smaller person, the smaller points right here. And you can just do it like that, but I'm gonna show you, if I were to do it, I would press right here on my fingers. And then I'm gonna ask him, is this, is this tender right here? And he's gonna say, yes, yes it's sore. <laughs> and, uh, if it's, and then I'm gonna go a little bit lower Okay, and what I'm going to feel is I'm going to feel n not just where he's telling me it's tender, but where it's very, very tight. It's going to be very tight and blocked on the opposite point of where he hurts on the front part if we draw a circle. So I might want to play around and go a little higher, lower, and just find that one spot that's like really like a rock hard tight, and then we're going to press right into that area. It might be even more tight on the left side or the right side, and then I might spend more uh, pressure on that point. And then I'm going to ask him, <coughs> while I'm holding this pressure, I'm going to rate it like 10 being very severe, 0 being no soreness, give me a number, He'll maybe he says 10, and then I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to tell me when it goes down to a 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, until it's 0. And he, you might, uh, it might actually plateau where it doesn't move, and then I'll ask him, did it move lower? Did the sore throat go lower? And he goes, yes, or higher. And then I'm just going to adjust my fingers lower or higher to match where it hurts in the front part. So I'm going to adjust the fingers until there is no more soreness. Okay, so it's going to go away. And then, and I wouldn't even wait to do this till you have a sore throat. I would do this before you had a sore throat to prevent a sore throat. It's the easiest thing to do and you're just freeing up stuck energy flows in your neck. And if you have repetitive sore throats over many, many years, um, it forms a lot of tightness and stiffness in the neck. So typically it's going to be very, very tight. And you might have to go lower, and you press in there, and you're going to find uh, one spot that is the most tender of all the tender areas. And that's the one you just hold, and you might have to hold this for about two minutes, maybe a little bit longer, but that pain is going away. And, uh, and what will happen, it will feel a lot better, and you might have to do it the next day or the next day, but you'll find that it's, it's the best thing to do for sore throats. 
because what I used to do is take antibiotics over and over and over and over, and it would get better, but then it would keep coming back. Okay? So this technique is something that anyone can do. So go ahead and uh, apply this, and then go ahead and click below, and I'm going to give you some download notes on a step-by-step -step if you want to just see it in a one page. So I have a little link below. Click that, and that way you can print that out and use that the next time you have a sore throat. I'll see you in the next video.